much. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you for joining us once again. I hope you are blessed by this word by Jared. Please like and share. Hey Switch, I hope you're all doing well this Friday evening. We miss you and love you guys. The title of my message tonight is called Time to Wake Up. Time to wake up, you ask. Why? It's just God saying it is time for us to wake up and remember that He is our protector. He is our shield. He is our fortress, our hiding place. Place of, that we can run to. He's just reiterating and saying that I'm here. I am God. And we have to believe that, that He is God. He is in full control of everything. We just got to remember that and understand that. Even though we're in a pandemic and we're focusing on what's around us and forgetting God a bit, we focus and rely on what's around us. But do we actually go back to our hiding place, our secret place? God? So now, we're just going to go through some scripture and just help you understand what is going on and how we can get there. In Jeremiah 29 verse 11 it says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. So he has said it. He knows the plan. He has a plan for us. So we got to focus and lean into him and understand and know he's in control. A plan to prosper us and not to harm us. Then why would he have a plan if it was going to harm us? See? So we got to know that in this time of the pandemic and lockdown, God is in control. He has a plan for us. He gonna, it's going to prosper us. It will not harm us. It will give us a hope and a future. And we just got to be in Him, dwelling with Him, knowing God, I give you the full control. I'm backing you. I got you, Lord. And understand that He is that place that we stand in. So in Psalm 32 verse 7, it says, You are my hiding place. You preserve me. You've preserved me from my trouble. <laughs> nice, eh? He says, You are my hiding place. You preserve me from my trouble. You surround me with a song of deliverance. Beautiful. We just gotta know and see as the psalmist says, You are my hiding place, Lord. We gotta just understand, Lord, you are my hiding place. You preserve me from my trouble. And in that, He surrounds you with a song of deliverance. Surround me, Lord. When you're in Him, in that hiding place, you're surrounded by Him. He preserves you. He keeps you safe. In Psalm 91, verse 1, it says, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, and I will serve the Lord. He is my refuge and fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. we got to trust in Him. Lean into Him. Abide in Him. Dwell in the secret place. God is the secret place. God is our protector, our fortress, our shield, our refuge. See, we got to be in him just day by day in the fortress. Even though we're going around with wearing a mask being safe, take precaution, do a safe thing, do the right thing. But remember, be in him, abide in him, dwell in him day by day. Lord, you are with me. Say to him, you are my hiding place. You are my secret place. You preserve me, Lord, from my trouble. You preserve me from my trouble. You surround me with the song of deliverance. You surround me, Lord. We just got to do it every day that we know that God is with us. That is powerful, that God is with us. He's never left us. He was always with us. It's just that at times we tend to just a little bit forget about him. Because we focus on the day-to-day -day things. We feel relaxed in TikToks and Instagram and all that. But we got to realize God is here. He's always with us. We shouldn't doubt him. We shouldn't neglect him. He's with you. He says, I know the plans I have for you. He knows. He knows the plans. We shouldn't just give up and be like, hey, God, this thing has got us bad. Corona, Corona, Rona, she got us bad. But no. We just got to be there and be like, if you know the plan, Lord, I'm willing to submit and believe in you that you got this. For you know the plan you have for me. It's meant to prosper me, not to harm me. It's meant to give me a hope in the future. How? Just be encouraged, guys, that every day, God has the plan. He's working all things for your good. He's not there to harm you. He's not there to pull you down. He's there to protect us, for He loves us. And just to just to help us and understand what, just a little bit, just to end this off. And it says in Psalm 91 verse 10, it says, no evil will befall you. Hey, no evil will befall you. Nor shall any plague come against your dwelling. Like 
I'll even read it from the word just to let you understand. Just to like let's let it sink in. It says, No evil shall befall you. No shall any plague come near your dwelling. Just to let you know, just to let you know and understand that this virus. No evil shall come before you. No shall any plague, any virus, any flu, any plague come near you, near your dwelling. Nothing will come near you. I just want you to be blessed with that. Just to end it off with such a powerful statement. That no evil will come near you. No evil will come near you. For he is our protector, remember? Our protector. And nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. Hey, switch. I just want you to stay blessed. Just be who God said you are. Remember, he's our protector. He's our dwelling place, our secret place, our hiding place, guys. Just stay in him. Just let's just close in prayer. Lord, I thank you that you are with us. You keep us safe, Lord. Your hiding place, our secret, our secret place. Protect us, O Father. For you said, no evil will be for us. No, the plague shall come near our dwelling. Amen. Hey, Switch, thank you for watching. And I really hope you guys enjoyed that amazing word this evening. And you know, we are here for you. We care about you. If you have any, any prayer requests or if you need any advice or counseling or just somebody to speak to, I want to let you know that we are here for you. You can just send us a message, uh, connect with your tribe leaders, Blaze, Flame, Spark and Glow. And you know, we want to just tell you that we love you. And uh, we are, we want to connect with you. And, you know, we're looking forward to this week's Sunday. We're going to have amazing drive-in service on Sunday. So, you know, invite your friends, invite your family uh, to come check out the drive-in service. There's going to be the drive-in service. There's going to be the, the walk-in service that we're going to have. And we have the live stream service as well. So we're really excited. And just a message out there to all the ladies. Happy Women's Month. And we are praying for you. We trust in God. God's going to bless you during this time. Thanks for watching, Switch. God bless you. Bye-bye.